So here we're going to show you kind of how we hold the leash and the directions of the pull when we start doing leash pressure. So you'll notice here, Lindsay has the leash, and if I, my, I were the dog, she lets the leash kind of lay across her hands. One of the things you want to avoid doing is people will wrap the leash around their hand like that, right? They like it because it gives them more leverage, but then you don't have the flexibility of moving up down the leash. If Lindsay holds it like this, she can slide up the leash or back on the leash, wherever she wants, and then just clamp down. And, so, and when she pulls, she's going to want to pull straight. So she pulls at that angle, and you notice how she goes nice and straight. And then when I, the dog resists, she pulls, dog resists, and when the dog goes, she releases the pressure like that. But you notice that line is straight. A really common mistake is people pull up. Like, so they're pulling like this, and the dog, in order to shut that pressure off, would have to jump in the air. And they start to resist, and then the more you pull up, the more panicky they get. So she goes in a nice, so if the dog's shorter, of course, like this, Lindsay's going to have to bend down in order to keep that pull straight, like that. And then it would be the same if I were the dog here next to her, and she wanted to pull, and my head was facing that way, and she wanted to pull backwards, she'd just lower her hand and pull backwards like that. Yes? If I were here facing her this way, she'd pull that way. And then she could also do it from this side, so she could switch if I'm here, and she can pull that direction forward. Right. Frequently, what happens a lot, because of our dogs have been extensively lured early on, they're good at following our body language and good at following our hands. So one of the early things we do in our training is teach the dogs to follow our hands. And so here, you'll notice sometimes Lindsay, when she goes to do this, has to kind of hide the leash a little bit, her hand kind of behind her leg a touch. And so the dog doesn't see her hand and the tension comes there with very little body movement. So she keeps her body as quiet as possible and pulls with as little movement as possible to get the dog to go. You notice if, she, if I'm here and she grabs the leash closer, right, straight, the dog just sees her hand and then follows her hand along. The dog thinks it's being lured and you get kind of a false positive. You think the dog's moving with the leash and really the dog is just following your hand or your body language around. You notice Lindsay also doesn't take a step or any of those things. She stands still quiets her body and makes straight tension.